Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is my disaster week. This is what's happened. Doherty, 73. Rialli, 75. Ridley, 70. Jones, okay at 76. Gimby, okay. Constable, the rookies are not too bad. Wilmot, Cohen, pretty good. Bonapelli, 125. McRae, only 85. The reason why I went Captain McRae is because my opponent had Bonapelli as captain and we're already going to beat, they, they're already going to beat me. So you try and do something, you try and captain someone they don't have. Probably should have captained Parrish. Um, the only good thing was Parrish was a newcomer in my side. He scored really well. Um, Steel only 96, Warpool 99, which I was really happy with. I think Steel might be even injured. Um, Callahan, another one might be injured as well, of 45. Mackenzie got 52. Larry was out because he was injured from last week. Ashcroft are benched because he only scored 50-something last week. So I took Holland's score of 71. Thought I was being clever. Robbed myself from about 30-something points. And then Baker, 55. So the, the rookies are right. Darcy, 41. Marshall, 129. So I was quite happy with that. Dunkley, 117. Rento, 95 was pretty good. JJ, 45. <laughs> Brune, 46. Planters, 46. <laughs> oh, she's all 114. And Green and, and Davey, 49, 45 apiece. So the rookies are actually pretty good. So that's okay. Am I happy with this score? I am absolutely not. I'm actually really annoyed. And I knew it was going to be a tough ride after even Doherty. After Doherty, he scored 73 as well. And top it off too. Um, yeah, I was, it's just nothing went well. I didn't even know Fife was actually not playing this week, but I actually traded him out. I just rage traded Fife out and didn't even know he was out this week. But yeah. JHF, only 45, not sure what happened there. He was getting booed off on the field, but I don't know if that's why he done, um, like didn't play well. We'll see how we go. We've still got 33 trades, 33 rage trades to go. <laughs> it's going to be a rage season. But yeah, we, we cannot change Bruin and Flanders out fast enough. So they're the two that we're mainly going to look at. Um... I thought Callahan was good last week. I don't know why he scored 45 now. So that's going to be another issue again, but we'll probably hold on to him. Um, so yeah, I think Bruin Flanners, we are trading out. Looking at probably getting Zeeble. Um, we're also looking at maybe getting a Darcy Cameron in. And for the third guy, I'm not really sure yet. Maybe getting Setterfield in. So maybe Setterfield. If we can fit him in somewhere. That's the plan. I'll probably put Flanders in the midfield. We'll put make him center field. And Bruin in the Zebul. That's the go so far. And then maybe get Chandlers in. Laurie for Chandlers. And that will be the three. I could try and be greedy in the midfield. But no. I think I'm going to go for the cash. For the long term game. I mean it's short term. It's short term disaster. But. You know, if we start winning towards, you know, in within two or three rounds, we start winning solidly, and then you know we make it to the top eight towards the end of the you know the end of the year, we could be still sitting pretty anyway. So we could still have a strong tail into the season. So we we just don't want to lose ourselves too much. As much as it really hurts, looking at the team really sticking it up at the moment. What's even worse, it really gets me now too, is the midfield. Midfield's the biggest difference between this year and last year. Last year, I have like five or six midfielders all firing about 110, 120 plus. And then even if your forwards or backs weren't scoring, you'd have you'd have those guys just covering the weaknesses up, which I don't have this time. And I probably just got a little bit too greedy with the mid prices this year. So I think getting the mid prices was definitely a bad, bad thing to do. Um, it could have been worse. But, you know, at least Laird uh, rebounded for most years and all of us scored quite well for you, all of you guys. But, yeah, I've definitely got some work to do. Um, looking at changing the front line first and then see how Darcy goes. 
cannot continue to get 41, that's for sure. But Gorn got injured as well, so we're not, not the only one that's got had problems or long-term issues. Gorn went down. Um, yeah, good luck, guys, and uh, well done for you guys that scored really well. Um, in the comments, post, you know, just talk about your... Um, what are your best things that's happening this season so far? Um, no one's having the worst season like me at the moment, so I think I'm actually tanking this year. <laughs> I'm going to go for the priority pick. All right, and I'll catch you next time. See you guys. Good luck, and yeah, I'll see you. <laughs>